you know? You know? You know? When I modified my Rain Dance, well, Rain DDR deck, <laughs> what I did was I forgot to put any energy removal in that deck at all. Whoops! <laughs> but I still managed to win, so whatever. Yee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is what I did to my Charmander and Friends deck. It's basically me uh, putting it back together <laughs> the way it was before because it's doing pretty well overall. So yeah, I'm gonna save that and get this duel underway. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. Alright then, let's begin the duel! Six prizes. Ready, set, go! The legendary Zapdos deck! And this Zapdos is something that you may or may not have to worry about. As a matter of fact, this Zapdos could actually work in your favor depending on the luck of the random. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, so he had no basic Pokemon, but whatever, whatever. He just reshuffles, and we are going to probably put out a fighting Pokemon. Because this Pokemon will be generally weak against them. Sound good? Except, you know, except for his legendary Zapdos cards. No weakness to them whatsoever. Okay, he's got a Voltor, which I can knock out in one hit. That'll make- oh no, there, that's the legendary Zapdos, and it's got Peel of Thunder. When it's put into play, it does 30 damage to any Pokémon on the field other than Zapdos at random. So it could hurt one of my Pokémon, it could hurt one of his Pokémon, and it's going to hurt... My... no! <laughs> so that didn't work out for me. Uh, he's just putting out that- oh wait, come to think of it, doesn't it have resistance to fighting? Uh, yes it does, oh no, oh no, <laughs> well, well in any case, his other attack, Big Thunder, is just as haphazard as Peel of Thunder, because it does 70 damage to a random Pokemon in play, just like Peel of Thunder, except, you know, it's 40 more, so, what should I do? <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm gonna power up Charmander, and call it a turn, because... Zapdos, even if it's out on the front line, it doesn't mean that it's going to be attacking your front line. It might end up attacking his own Pokémon, it might end up attacking your bench Pokémon. Uh, which would be bad, because I'm powering up Charmander, at least trying to. Uh, I'll put on another Charmander to increase its uh, targets, so to speak, to try and redirect its target. Like, the more Pokémon I have on my bench, the less of a chance of him hitting the one that's most useful for him to hit. Basically, and I can evolve to Charmeleon to prevent Peel of Fun Thunder from knocking it out at all. So that's that's pretty pleasing right there. Uh, I can set up that for the future of rats, future of rat kind, and call it a turn. Chances are, the big thunder is coming. Here we go! Oh, <laughs> my active Pokemon once again. You lucky ducky. All right, Charmeleon, it is then. We're gonna do that, and we're going to evolve this, and then, 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 slash, I guess. When we'll see how things go. Hopefully, Big Thunder will start knocking out his own Pokemon. <laughs> that would be most pleasing to my palate. <laughs> uh oh. Eh, he's knocking out Machop. So, he's got another one. Uh, surprised he hasn't hit any of his own Pokemon yet. It's kind of kind of weird how that's going here, but whatever. Slash attack, and yeah, I just I figured that I won't use the flamethrower just yet in case he does not. Uh oh, in case he does uh, give me a little bit of ire. Uh, that's gonna take him forever to power up. By the way, it takes four lightning energy for that version of Zapdos, and by the way, he's got all the version of Zapdos in his deck. So, keep that in mind for your planning. And I guess I'll go for the Slash again, because then I'll Flamethrower next turn and KO it, potentially. <laughs> Unless he switches it, which he may. Or not. <laughs> okay. Double Colorless on Raticate, get that going. Um, Flamethrower, I suppose. Oh yeah. So that's a knockout for me, finally! <laughs> As I said, uh, I, I mean, I was talking about that the Zapdos might not cause you any ire whatsoever, you know, the legendary version of Zapdos, but it ended up doing the most damage possible by getting ahead of me. 
And he's only getting 20 damage with this Eevee. I'm just gonna try and flamethrower it next turn. Uh, if at all possible. What I think I'm gonna do here is computer search for a Professor Oak. Because Professor Oak is bad to the bone. There we go, get that Fire Energy card, the Charmeleon. Give myself a fresh new hand. And let's see what we get here. Um, what will be coming my way next turn? Like, is it worth me using a Defender? I don't think so. So I'll hold on to that. And I already attached an Energy card, so... Flamethrower it is! Woo! And now I finally evened up the score, with four prizes aside. Feel the excitement in the air? It's crashing down like thunder! <laughs> and I'll just be able to knock that out if I get another fire energy. Thank you, fire energy, for being drawn. Because, yeah, I only had this other one here, and I would have used it. I mean, I would use another one this turn, and that would have been kind of unfortunate. <laughs> okay, the knockouts continue, turn after turn. Which is making me pretty happy. Okay... Oh, my energy removal. I could use that for that Zapdos of death. <laughs> Pop a fire. Flamethrower! For the win! Well, not quite the win just yet, but... It will leave him with just one Pokémon left, and I will be able to knock it out on my next turn, because it's only got 40... Oh, oh no! I was wondering when he'd get one of those, if he was going to get one of those, but chances are he was going to get one of those, as he's got a lot of copies of them. But that, that could be the card that turns the game around in his favor. You know that Electabuzz is a pain. So, I'm going to set up a Defender just in case, uh, because he's most likely going to try Thunder Punching Charmeleon. So... If he gets the heads flip, it would have knocked out my ace Pokemon that's currently out, so we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> oh boy! Okay, he did a little damage to himself. If I were to get a plus power, uh, that would be kind of nice, you know? <laughs> Let's see, I got Bill. Oh wait, that, that's right, I did get a plus power. What was I thinking? I was clicking through things a little too fast here. My bad! So I'll do that, do that, and... Call it a game! <laughs> Wow, that duel went pretty quick. Fast as lightning! <laughs> Woo! You're the winner. You're the greatest. With that skill, I feel we can give you the legendary Pokemon cards. Very good, Mark. Your next opponent is Jack. Ah, uh, Jack, I'm your third opponent. You shall not be able to defeat my splendid deck. Come, I shall prove it to you. Um, I would most likely love to prepare for the duel. Oh yeah, you know, first saving my game, that would be kind of nice. And then I'm going to prepare my, I think, Rain DDR deck off camera. Alright, I think it is ready. Believe it or not, I dropped the plus power from this build in favor of the energy removals. I figured, well, and a little bit of extra stuff in here, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's the build that I'm using here for this duel. And let's get out of here, do a little diary save just so I got my deck all ready to go. And nope, I'm good now. Very well then, let us begin the duel. Shall we start? There will be six prizes. The Legendary Articuno deck! And the Legendary Articuno is a pretty mean card because when it is put into play now on the first turn, it can paralyze your active Pokémon with a heads coin flip. Joy! <laughs> and he can reuse that power with his scoop up cards. That's a pretty dangerous deck, <laughs> but hopefully I'll be able to overpower it with my Rain DDR deck. We'll see, I guess. He's also got a lot of stalling Pokémon, such as Chansey, so expect to be caused some ire in that regard as well. But hopefully, there won't be any ire at all. <laughs> We're gonna see how things go, I suppose. Professor Oaking, for the loss for me! <laughs> okay, sealing it up. He's got some dugongs of his own, by the way, so those could potentially cause me issue. Uh, but I will still be trying to offset whatever he's got for the most part. Uh, slap. There we go. 
And then I'm gonna evolve into Starmie on the next turn, start Star Freezing. And I might even be able to use some Recovers as well, because the his, his deck doesn't generally do all that much damage, so I can take advantage of the uh, recovery aspect of Staryu, so yeah. We shall see, I suppose. I mean, yeah, his deck can do a lot of damage in certain aspects, like with Dugong, but what I'm saying is that uh, generally most of his Pokémon do not, and this Paralysis is just what I was hoping for, because I'll be able to knock out Lapras next turn, unless he scoops it up, <laughs> which he may very well do. And he's not, okay. Probably saving those scoop-ups for the Articuno of Doom. Should probably get a Blastoise going here if I can. <laughs> uh, I, I, because Blastoise, you're gonna see the engine of this deck at work when I get that bad boy out, and why the Rain Dance deck is so dang powerful. But for now, let's just do a Star Freeze and knock out Lapras. I am so freaking excited to finally be able to use a Rain Dance deck to its near full potential, because this deck is one of my favorite deck builds. Um, in this particular generation of the card game. So we're gonna see what we got here. See, we got four, four water energy cards here. And uh, I've got this Blastoise. And I'm gonna plop it on there. I, I went a little too far. <laughs> so what can we do here now? We could potentially uh, power up Blastoise to be able to do 50 damage right now. <laughs> We, we could just hold on to those energy cards because now there's no hurry to power up your Pokémon because you can power up pretty much anything you want as long as you hold on to energy cards, which is what I think I'm going to be doing here. So, uh, what I'm going to do is swap over to Blastoise on the next turn so that it takes the least amount of damage possible from whatever he's going to be putting out uh, whenever I knock out Seal here. So yeah, what I'm gonna do here is, 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 I think I'm gonna super energy removal actually. I'm going to discard one of those, and get those off of Lapras, because Lapras is kind of a pain. Retreat to Blastoise the King! Power up! <laughs> and Hydro Pop! <laughs> That's the power of Rain Dance, and you can do this sort of thing with all of your other water Pokémon as well. It's just that Blastoise just happens to be the best Pokémon that I have out at this time. That's why I decided to use its power instead, and oh my god, I got another one! <laughs> oh, and by the way, for every extra uh, water energy, uh, it, up to two, you get to do ten more damage for that Hydro Pump! So goodbye, Seal! <laughs> It's <laughs> sweeping time! <laughs> well, except maybe Lapras, but Lapras, aside from Confuseray, isn't really going to be doing all that much. Although Confuseray could very well uh, turn the tide of the game for him. But uh, we'll see. And I got another Starmie. Oh, by the way, um, with the Confusion, you cannot use uh, the Rain Dance when it's asleep, confused, or paralyzed. So, what, I, what I'm tempted to do is switch out. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Actually, what I should do is 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 computer search for. I already got my Blastoise. I don't think I'll need another one. Computer search for Professor Oak and uh, get that on the bench. Uh, I don't think I have another Star Me. That's right. Okay. So it's Professor Oak. Generate some more cards. And Bill, I guess, because why not? And 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 I guess I should try the attack. Gone heads? Oh, <laughs> that's all right. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I already did some decent sweeping so far, <laughs> and that water gun's gonna do 20 damage per turn unless he gives it one more water energy. It, it, the water gun is similar to my uh, Blastoise's Hydro Pump. So yeah, um, I won't be able to power up quite as fast because of the confusion, but I will be able to probably do some da- yeah, some damage to that Lapras before uh, Blastoise goes away. I probably should have packed some switch cards just in case of this sort of scenario because I know he runs 
uh, paralyzing cards, you know, thanks to that legendary Ar Articuno, uh, the fossil version of Articuno, which has the freezing attack, and yeah. <laughs> but it's not that big of a deal or anything like that. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna try a retreat, because even though it takes three water energy cards, I'm just gonna try it anyway. And see how things go. Oh yeah! I got to save my Rain Dance. So then, I can continue to power up my Pokémon a lot. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'll use Professor Oak now, though. I think I'll hold on to that. Because, as I said, I don't really need the uh, energy cards uh, at the moment in time. Dugong is doing well. Um, Blastoise can be brought out again later uh, with just one more energy card. Ah, uh, things, I gotta say, are looking pretty good. <laughs> Um, let's see here. How about an energy removal on Seal? And then an energy removal on Lapras? Yeah, just like adding insult to injury here. Not only can I power up my Pokémon faster thanks to Blastoise, I can also remove his energy cards and slow him down at a great pace. <laughs> I mean, at a great rate, excuse me. I have the pace, he doesn't have any pace because of my deck. <laughs> I'm getting drunk with power, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's swap some stuff out here. Uh, la 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 la, do 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 do, <laughs> another energy removal. And... I think what I'm gonna do here is... Watch this, Ice Beam. And, uh, I was hoping for Paralysis because it was gonna take two attacks to knock out Seal anyway. So, yeah. But, well, just didn't happen. Okay, so he's not gonna attack with Seal, just gonna work on his bench Pokémon. Which I am not going to help with in the slightest. <laughs> Okay, and I might as well evolve another seal into Dugong as long as I have the energy for it. And I'll hold on to those because Blastoise is still kicking. So, well, I actually, maybe not. Maybe I should get energy on to it just in case he finds a way to knock out my Blastoise somehow. And I guess Ice Beam for kicks. <laughs> okay, I didn't get the coin flip heads. I just wanted to see what I would get there. Either attack would have knocked out Seal, and the results would have been the same, regardless of the coin flip or whether or not I um, used the Freezing's paralysisness. and yeah, you get what I'm saying? I'm just messing around here. Alright, Aurora Beam! <laughs> Chansey could stall for a few turns, or it could go down to two of Blastoise's Hydro Pumps, because it's just that freaking powerful. <laughs> But, uh, hopefully it won't come to that. We'll see, I guess. Um... Um... What I should do is do that, actually. And hold on to those energy cards. Let's do an Ice Beam. So you can't switch. There we go. Although I still could switch with a Scoop Up or something like that, but... It's just to increase my chances, basically. Uh, switch, oh, okay. Oh, it's all like using a Switch to another Chansey, actually. Okay. Please, no confusion. Very nice. Alright. This is Duo. I'm pretty sure it's close to being done. I think what he's trying to do now at this moment in time is uh, stall me out, because if I press select here... Whoops. <laughs> if I press select here... Um, yeah, see, I only have eight cards left in my deck. So, yeah. Uh, the start button lets you check uh, your active Pokemon, by the way. Anyway, um, 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 I could Pokemon Trader to another Dugong, probably. Nah, I think I only got two copies, actually. But are you? I think you're seeing the power of the Rain Dance deck. I think you've got the idea of just what this deck can do. <laughs> as long as you've got Blastoise and a few Professor Oak cards. Uh, I recommend it three to four copies for that regard. Uh, you will most likely destroy your opponents with the greatest of ease. Uh, Golduck, that'll help with my uh, energy removal progress. Aurora Beam? Uh, I'm probably not going to be using any more draw cards here because there's only seven turns left for obvious reasons. Oh, I got a Pokemon Breeder. It's a little bit late because I already got Blastoise out, but it's a, it's a nice card to have in your deck to combo with the whole Squirtle line there. Just in case, although in a, a real deal, full-fledged, well-built Rain Dance deck, you're going to be getting more of those more often, because I recommend having more copies of uh, uh, Ye Ol... Wait, couldn't I win this turn? Hold on a sec. Uh, 
no, I can't. <laughs> I was just thinking of myself here. Alright, so let's just Ice Beam. But anyway, uh, with with more Pokemon Breeder cards, you'll get high, more chances to get out Blastoise on the, say, second turn of the game. Oh no, there's a Legendary Articuno, finally! Uh, so can Paralysis uh, give your uh, active Pokemon Paralysis if it, he gets heads. Oh, he got heads. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> he might actually win! Nah, I don't think so. But it's, this duel is going on for a while. Uh, I'll call it a turn. Just hurry this along. Because this duel is going a lot, a lot longer than I would expect from a Rain Dance deck. Uh, by the way, his other attack is a pretty decent attack. Ice Breath, 40 damage to your opponent, one of your opponent's Pokémon chosen at random, so it can. There's no escaping its Ice Breath, basically. So you might as well just keep wailing at Articuno whenever it's out. Uh, he's probably gonna scoop up. No, he's not, which means I win. Yeah! And another Grandmaster bites the dust. Oh yeah! Now I've gotta prepare my deck. <laughs> I simply cannot believe my splendid deck could lose. It is a mortifying thought, but it appears you are better than I. Very well. Now, onto your final test. Spectacular duel. I, Rod, will be your next opponent. The last guy, and he's the Dragon Master. He's got Charizard, Gyarados, and the legendary Dragonite as his ace Pokémon. So, you might want to prepare your deck accordingly for that. But for now, I would very much like to prepare my deck by, you know, saving my game and then preparing my deck for realsies off-camera. Because this is your final duel! Show me what you're made of. My deck is not ready. <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna end up the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part!